Group D outcomes speak to exercising judgment, taking responsibility, and acting ethically. This speaks to outcome 8, 9, and 10. Outcome number 8 speaks to your ability to conduct engineering activities ethically. Now, this is a scenario-based outcome. It is very important that you find a relevant scenario or story or example that you can share to show how you exercised ethical judgment. Below is an example that you can consider. As an, if you're enjoying this video, head over to udemy.com for the full course. We have tons of other videos uploaded as well as an actual PRN report that you can download to use as a guide as you start drafting yours. We also have a video that takes you through step by step on what to include under each and every one of those sections and some of the important notes you need to be aware of. Cool, back to the video. I came across a quality inspector from one of our contractors that had failed to adhere to his duties throughout the project. As a result, critical quality inspection reports were omitted and were holding up the project. This was a safety concern because we had no way of confirming if the work had been done correctly. It also had a cost and time implication. He suggested that we backdate the signatures so that the client would think otherwise. As an ethical engineer, I immediately declined his offer and brought this forward to the client. We were able to assign the necessary fines to the contractor and I issued a non-conformance report. The sites were excavated and the proper inspections were done.